hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you for watching. Today I'm doing this look for you. It is very like glamorous, very dressed up. It is a nice like rose gold smoky eye with like thick liner, a dark red lip. I don't even think I've done a dark red lip in a tutorial for so long. So I love how it turned out. Like I'm so stoked. And if you can see, I got my hair dyed. I love it so, so much. It is like the brightest I've ever been. It's kind of like a purpley red. So it's stunning. So mind when I am doing the tutorial, but I still do have a little bit of sort of like dye residue around there because I haven't washed it yet. I've just had it blow dried. So that will be there for like today's video. But I hope you like the video and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye. So I'm starting by priming my face using the L'Oreal Lumi Magic Primer. I'm just taking a big duo fiber brush and I'm putting this everywhere except my nose. I think this gives an amazing glow to the face and it's just going to make your foundation look flawless. So I'm taking the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer and I'm just applying this to the middle of my face with the same brush and this is just going to make your makeup sit amazingly and make everything look super smooth and perfected. For foundation, I'm going to be taking the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and I am currently in the shade Fiji. This foundation is gorgeous, especially if you're going to an event. It is very buildable, but it still lets your skin shine through so it doesn't look too cakey. It just settles beautifully. And to apply this, I'm taking a damp beauty blender. Now that I am back to being a redhead, I'm taking my Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Auburn. I love this product and I love the colour, so I'm so excited that I get to use it again. So I'm just putting that all over and then I'm also going to be adding a little bit of the Benefit Gimme Brow to sort of like bring some texture back to my brows. I really like how this looks and I'm really excited for the new shades to come out. Hopefully there's one that's a little bit more suited to my hair colour, so I will definitely be checking that out in the near future. Surprise, surprise, I'm pulling out my trusty eye tape today and this is just like a regular cellar tape. I know that there's other types of tape you can use but to be honest this works fine for me. So I'm just applying that sort of like lining it up with the outer corner of my eye and sort of like towards the end of my eyebrow. And then I'm taking some of the NARS, this is one of their nude paint pots, I'll pop the name down below. And I'm just putting that all over to neutralize my lid and just to be a nice base for the eyeshadow. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of my Happy Balance powder on a large fluffy brush and I'm just setting down that NARS paint pot. This means that your eyeshadows are going to sort of blend together a whole lot easier. Then I'm taking the Morphe 350 palette. I'm taking like a really nice warm nude shade. This is just going to be the first transition colour in our crease and I'm putting that in the crease and all over the lid. Then I'm taking sort of like a nice muted orange, it is very warm, it is a perfect transition colour and I love 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 this colour and I'm just using the same brush and sort of building up that crease just to give it some warmth and I'm also going to be pulling it onto the eyelid slightly. Then I'm taking this really nice sort of like warm terracotta ready brown. I'm taking a small um, petite crease brush by Zoeva and I'm putting this on the outer corner. The beauty of this tape is that it just makes placing eyeshadow so easy. And I'm just making sure to focus mostly on the lid and then taking that large fluffy brush to blend it into the crease slightly. And then you just want to build up the colour to your desired effect. I didn't want it to be too dark because this isn't like a super dark look but I wanted the outer corner to be nice and defined. 
Then I'm taking the NARS Caviar Stick in the shade Copper. This is such a beautiful shade, such a beautiful formula, and I really, really like it. It's perfect as a base if you're going for like a shimmery eyeshadow over the top. It's going to make it a lot more opaque and a lot more intense, which I really like. And then I'm just taking sort of like a synthetic flat brush and I'm just blending it slightly into the crease or just basically blurring out any harsh lines. Then I'm taking, this is the 35T palette. The 35O palette didn't have like a nice rose gold shimmer. So I grabbed out this palette and I'm just taking that one shadow on my finger. I find it easiest to just like press it into the lid and then go over the top with a fluffy brush. Then just to sharpen the outer corner again from the shimmer, I'm just taking a little bit more of that sort of reddish brown color and then I'm also gonna be slightly pulling it through the crease just to give it a little bit more definition. This is the MAC Black Track Gel Liner and I'm just taking a small MAC brush, I think it might be a 217. I'm doing quite a thick line on the outer corner but I'm keeping it still quite thin in the inner corner just to give sort of like a real cat eye look and yeah it gives a lovely shape to the eyes. Now I've removed the tape and I've decided I wanted a bit more definition so I'm just pushing a little bit more of that red brown colour into the crease with the same brush and then blending out again. For under my eyes, I'm gonna be taking two of the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. These are the shades Fair and Light. I'm mostly focusing on the light shade, but I want a little bit of the fair color just in the inner corners, just to really bring a lot of light, but I don't wanna put it everywhere else because it's a bit too light for me at the moment and it will wash me out. I feel like I need more beauty blenders in my life. I feel like I can't have too many. What do you guys think? Are you multiple beauty blender owners or like a more of a single type of gal? Then for under my eyes, I'm taking the Bare Minerals. This is the Well Rested Under Eye Concealer. And then I'm gonna be taking my Healthy Balance Powder again with a little NARS Kabuki brush and I'm just pressing this in to set my face makeup. Don't worry guys, when I go overseas, I'm gonna get some more powders and you're gonna be seeing a lot more different ones, but at the moment, this is still my favorite. Then with just a really small sort of definer crease brush, I'm taking some more of that reddish brown and I'm just underlining my lower lash line and then smoking it out slightly. And to give my eyes like that kind of piercing darkness, um, I'm taking my NARS eyeliner and this is in the shade Night Porter. It is like a really dark iridescent green and it is my favorite. It's so blendable, so creamy, and it just gives the perfect amount of definition. But I always smudge it out with a little synthetic brush just to make it more smoky. Again with mascara, I'm gonna pick some more up when I go overseas. Today I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara because it is currently my favorite. And I'm just doing quite a few generous coats of that. I will be applying false eyelashes later on and I'm gonna be using the EXO Beauty. Uh, these are the Gold Digger Lashes, so they are gorgeous and I'm currently obsessed with them. To bronze up my face, I'm taking the Hourglass Luminous Light Bronzer. This is freaking gorgeous. It's just like, words can't even describe how much I love this. So I'm putting this all over my cheekbones, you know, giving me a nice glow, taking it around my hairline, you know, a bit under my chin, down my neck, just to blend everything together. For blush, I'm taking the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush. This is in the shade Dim Infusion. It is freaking gorgeous. It is like a nice peachy pink shade. Very wearable and I'm using a Real Techniques Duo Fiber Brush just to apply this with a light hand. And then I'll blend it back in with my bronzer brush. 
For highlighter, I'm taking the gorgeous Kevin Aquan highlighter. This is in the shade Starlight. It is a pinky highlighter and I think it is gorgeous. I love it so much. So I'm quite generous with my highlighter these days. It's kind of like a phase I'm going through. So there's a lot going on and I just love it. I think it just pulls everything together. Now I don't think I've actually done a dark lip on this channel for a really long time so I'm going to be taking some of the Lipstick Queen Lip Liner. This is in the shade Berry. I'm going to be lining my lips and then I'm going to be taking like a really nice dark red that I think matches my outfit and my hair very well today. It is the NARS Audacious Lipstick in the shade Jean or Genie. I think that's how you say it but I think it's absolutely gorgeous and I'm completely in love with it. It's just got a really nice undertone. I feel like a lot of the NARS Audacious lipsticks have quite a purpley, plummy undertone, but this is like a straight up beautiful, beautiful red. And that is the finished look. I have applied my lashes off camera because you guys know I just can't seem to do it and I always sting my eyes with glue. <laughs> so that is the look and I really hope you enjoyed it. Have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Because I think a skincare routine is majorly important to making your makeup look flawless, to your making your makeup look amazing and just having like a really nice amount of self-confidence. I've gone through different stages